Imagine asking an AI to solve a problem, and instead of instantly spitting out an answer, it pauses. It thinks, weighing options like a human before giving you a response. Crazy, right? Well, OpenAI just released a new AI model that does exactly that. Meet GPT-01, the first in a groundbreaking series of AI models designed to not just respond but to reason. And trust me, this is more than just an upgrade. It's a complete paradigm shift in how AI works. So stick around because what I'm about to explain is going to blow your mind, and you'll want to be here until the end. We're used to AI like ChatGPT firing off answers as fast as we type them in. But here's the thing. Speed isn't always the best approach. We've all seen it. A quick, confident response from AI that's completely wrong. Whether it's telling you a math equation is correct when it's way off or giving a totally plausible but factually incorrect answer, fast doesn't always mean smart. That's where GPT-01 comes in. It changes everything. Instead of rushing to answer, it takes a moment to analyze, rethink, and get this, recognize its mistakes. That's something we haven't really seen before in AI models at this level. It's not just faster horses, it's a whole new vehicle. So how does GPT-01 do it? How does it actually think before responding? Well, it's not magic. OpenAI trained it to simulate a human thought process. Think of it like a person solving a challenging problem, starting with an idea, trying different approaches, and recognizing when something's off. It will take time to make sure what it tells you is as accurate as possible. Let's put it into context. Think about the last time you had to solve a challenging problem, figuring out taxes, debugging a piece of code, or even something as simple as planning a vacation. Did you get it right on the first try? Probably not. You had to step back, consider your options, adjust, and try again. That's the thought process GPT-01 is trying to mirror. It's not rushing to be the fastest in the room, it's trying to be the smartest. And here's where it gets exciting. In tests, GPT-01 performed as well as PhD students on benchmark tasks in physics, chemistry, and biology. I'm talking about real-world, challenging academic problems. When it comes to math, oh man, this thing crushed it. GPT-4, as good as it is, only managed to score 13% on a qualifying exam for the International Math Olympiad. GPT-01, a whopping 83%. That's not just a slight improvement. That's a massive leap in capabilities. Let's break this down further. You've heard of GPT-4, maybe even GPT-40, but GPT-01 is not just another iteration in the series. It's a total rethinking of how AI handles complex tasks. For starters, GPT-01 takes its time. It's not racing to get you a quick answer. It's working to get you the correct answer. Whether you're dealing with complex math problems, high-level coding challenges, or even scientific research, O1 is the model to trust. And sure, that might sound simple, but it's revolutionary. We live in a world where everything is expected to be immediate. We get frustrated when a web page takes more than a second to load, right? But here's the thing. Sometimes speed isn't what we need. We need accuracy. We need intelligence. And GPT-01 delivers on that in a way we haven't seen before. Now let's delve deeper into how this works in real life. Say you're a researcher and you're working on something pretty intricate, like gene sequencing or quantum computing. These are fields where even the slightest mistake can throw everything off. If you're using GPT-01, it's going to take that extra time to carefully process the data, think through different strategies, and come back with the most accurate response possible. In many ways, it's like having a PhD-level assistant sitting next to you, weighing every option before giving you the answer. That's pretty huge. But let's keep it real. This model isn't designed for your day-to-day -day chat. It's not the tool to ask, hey, what's the weather like today, and get a quick answer. This is for the deep stuff. If you're coding a complex algorithm, solving advanced mathematical equations, or doing serious scientific research, that's where GPT-01 shines. Now, some of you might be asking, okay, that sounds cool, but what about when I just need something fast? Does this mean I have to wait forever for simple tasks? Here's where GPT-01's relationship with GPT-40 comes into play. It's not about which one is better, it's about which one is right for the job. If you're diving deep into a project that requires complex reasoning, like a research paper or a tough engineering problem, GPT-01 is your go-to. It's worth the extra time and cost for those kinds of tasks. But for general-purpose AI, GPT-40 is the clear winner. It's faster, cheaper, and super versatile for day-to-day -day tasks. 
Let's talk about the cost for a minute. There's no denying that GPT-01 comes with a price tag, $15 per million input tokens and $60 per million output tokens. Compare that to GPT-40, and yeah, GPT-01 is more expensive. It's like comparing a fast food meal to a Michelin star restaurant. Fast food is quick, cheap, and fills you up. But a Michelin star meal? That's an experience. You're paying for quality, for the thought and care that went into every dish. And GPT-01 is the AI equivalent of that. Sure, it's slower, but when you're tackling something like complex engineering problems or advanced physics, wouldn't you rather have the AI take its time to get it right? Now let's zoom out a bit and think about the bigger picture here. This isn't just about GPT-01 versus GPT-01. T40. This is about how AI is evolving as a whole. We're moving away from the one-size-fits-all approach of AI models. Now we're seeing specialized tools built to tackle specific problems. GPT-01 is perfect for deep, intricate work. GPT-40 handles multimodal tasks like processing text, images, and audio all at once. This specialization is opening up new possibilities we couldn't even dream of before. Think about more accurate scientific modeling or educational tools that can explain the most complex topics in ways that are easy to understand. We could see AI-assisted research making connections that humans might miss entirely. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. But with all this power comes responsibility. We're talking about AI that can outperform humans in reasoning tasks, especially in STEM fields. So it raises some big questions. How do we balance the need for deep reasoning with the demand for quick responses? What are the ethical implications of AI that can solve complex problems faster and better than we can? How do we make sure these tools are used responsibly? These are questions we'll have to grapple with as we continue down this path. It's one thing to develop powerful tools. It's another to ensure they're used in ways that benefit society as a whole. And let's not forget, as advanced as GPT-01 is, it's not perfect. It doesn't have the ability to browse the web or process images like GPT-40 does. It's laser-focused on text-based reasoning. So if you're looking for an AI to analyze data from multiple formats, GPT-40 still has the edge. But if you're in STEAM fields or working on something that requires intense reasoning and problem-solving, GPT-01 is the game-changer you've been waiting for. And while it's slower and more expensive, it's a powerhouse for those moments when getting it right matters more than getting it fast. So, what's next? How will this all evolve? Well, we're just scratching the surface. We could be looking at an AI revolution that's more specialized, more tailored, and more capable of handling the kinds of challenges that were once purely the realm of human intelligence. But what do you think? Is GPT-01 the future of AI, or is speed still king? Let's get the conversation going. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're into exploring the next frontier of AI, don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got plenty more tech deep dives coming your way. Thanks for sticking around until the end. Until next time, keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.